and thank you for joining me for Veg with Lisa Live. I'm Lisa. This is Veg with Lisa, and it's most definitely live, as will be painfully obvious. Ah! But before we get started, let me know that you're here by in the comments so that I know that I that you can see me and that you can hear me. And I want to see you too and hear what you have to say. What are we doing today on Veg with Lisa Live? Well, I am going to show you how to roll your own bean burritos. Yes, indeed. Why? Well, firstly, because they're absolutely delicious. Who doesn't love a burrito, right? They're easy and delicious for breakfast, lunch, and or dinner, and even a little mid-afternoon snack, why not? Secondly, because it is so, so, so easy. I want to show you probably with some little things that you already have on hand or you can easily have on hand how to whip up a really delicious, tasty, healthy meal. Thirdly, because cooking your food at home is the best way to make sure that you are eating in line with your health goals, eating the way that makes you feel good, that makes your body Loo! Sing and hum. Huh. Hi, Heather. Are you tuning in from Union Cemetery in Kansas City? So we'll talk a little bit more about why we want to cook our own food at home in a bit. But first, let's get started. Oh, Heather says she's coming at us from home today instead of at the Union Cemetery because it's snow day in Kansas City. I heard that. Huh. Well, stay home and cozy. Lisa, are you home on a snow day too? Good to see you. Okay, bean burritos. First of all, before we get started rolling our own, I wanna show you what kind of beans I'm using and why I'm cooking with beans this month. It is American Heart Month. February is American Heart Month. Hello, Dr. Tea Garden. Hello, Susan. Oh my gosh, everybody must be home and watching Veg with Lisa Live today. I love it. Um, yes, February, American Heart Month. We often think of hearts as, you know, chocolate and those hard, chalky colored pasty ones. That's all really, really fun, but February is American Heart Month, and that means this heart. And what does that have to do with these things? Well, beans are good for your heart. Beans, beans, the magical fruit. The more you eat, the more you toot. The more you toot, the better you eat. So let's have beans for, I don't know, I got all messed up. They're really good for your heart, and I'll tell you why in a second. Okay. Pinto beans are often what we are used to in burritos, and that's what I'm going to use today. You can buy them like this, canned and whole and ready to just, you know, I know that was bad, wasn't it, at least. You can can't open the can and drain them and use them. These beans are already refried, and these are the healthy kind. You need to look at your labels. Ingredients, cooked beans, water, and salt. You don't want anything that's got lard or any of that business in it. And if you're really adventurous, you can buy them in the bag like this, dried. Susan, do you recognize these? And you can soak and cook these your own. Okay, so that's how you can do beans. But let's get started. You're probably sick of me yapping. Okay, you can see back here all of the supplies that you either might likely have at home or that you can easily keep on your shelves. These little green chilies are awesome a jar of salsa, bell peppers, onions, things that we often have at home. Firstly, 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 tor oh, where'd my tortillas go? Okay, tortillas. So I went to the store to buy tortillas. This is not a simple thing. There are so many kinds of tortillas. I say do the best you can, don't worry too much. These Ezekiel sprouted flourless ones were really pricey and really healthy. And these are nice. These are flour and corn combined, yes. And then these are whole wheat corn tortilla or flour tortillas. Again, just read your labels, right? And it's fun. Have some, have some fun experiment with different kinds. Certain ones will roll up better than others. So there's that. Let me show you, I'm gonna do two today. And one, this is the Ezekiel sprouted flourless one. And this is the combo corn and flour. Now, if you want, if you, hey, hey, Ellie's in the house. Ellie, what kind of tortillas do you use to roll your own? 
Heating these up a little bit before will help them roll better. So you can put them, let's see, you can't see me. Ah, there we go. You can see me, but not action. You can put them in a skillet like this and just do a little flip them over. Yeah, honestly, the microwave probably works really well too. And what I did today is I have my oven heating to warm up the burritos. I just put them on top of the stove and the warmth from the stove got them all pliable. See how much more pliable they are? Okay, I'm gonna wrap it in foil to make it a little bit easier. So let's get started, shall we? Here's the beans, remember, I, oh, where'd they go? Well, anyway, oh, here they are. The refried beans already fried out of a can in a bowl. And then I'm gonna add just a little bit of seasoning. I like cumin, so I'm gonna stick that in there. These are just right out of the can too. Maybe a teeny weeny little bit of chili powder and a pinch of salt. Don't forget, we're gonna talk about salt in a minute. You can heat these up ahead of time. I don't think you need to. So far, so good, right? Out of the can, in the bowl, a teeny bit of seasoning of your choice. Then, all you do is put your beanies right here in your tortilla. Okay, now here comes the fun part. This would be the burrito bar, burrito bar part of the show. I sauteed a few little onions and peppers. Again, I keep onions and peppers on hand all the time. This is just an option, kind of like fajita style. You know how when you go through Chipotle, you go through that line and they ask you what all you want on your burritos? Well, this is where that comes in. You could do some, some uh, raw diced onions. I have a little bit of vegan cheese here. You could do a little bit of regular cheese. I don't even really think you need a ton of cheese. And then you could pour some salsa in here. I'm gonna wait and put the salsa on at the end. Now here comes the rolling part. I think real burrito people will fold it like that. You can see, uh, you can see this one didn't wanna fold very much, so I'm just gonna kinda of roll it. Rolling my own. And then I'm gonna roll it up in foil, and I'm gonna pop it in the oven to warm it up. Now, while I do this one, here's the corn and flour combo. Let's talk about sodium. So the American Heart Association recommends that we get no more than 1,500 mil, well, really like 2,300 milligrams of sodium per day, ideally no more than 1,500 milligrams of sodium per day. Guess how much most Americans get? It's through the roof. Hi, Annie. And the other really important thing to know is that we get most of our excess sodium from, pa from packaged, processed, and convenience foods, not from the food we cook at home. Another reason to cook your own burritos. So let's put a few more of our veg in here. So again, another little interesting thing about sodium and burritos and not cooking your own food at home. Where might some of you go out to get a burrito? Chipotle, right? The burritos that are as big as your head. Guess how many grams, milligrams of sodium those bean burritos, actually I think I looked up the kind with the um, fake vegan meat in them, almost 3,000 milligrams of sodium in one of those Chipotle burritos. That is more than double your daily recommended allowance according to the American Heart Association. Another reason to cook your own, roll your own burritos at home. Not to mention those things have like a thousand calories. That's like half a day's worth of calories and you haven't even put on the chips and the salsa and the guacamole and the queso and all that stuff yet. Okay, so let's, I'm just gonna roll this one. Again, let's just have some fun with this. I know it's not typical, uh, traditional folded burrito, but hey, whatever. But I'm gonna do this. We do not wanna throw the baby out with the bath water when we are cooking, cooking, cooking. Okay, let's see, what else can I tell you? Oh, before I do the big unveil, I wanna give you the really, really juicy stuff about these pinto beans. Yes, pinto beans are so good for your heart. And for everything else, one cup of cooked pinto beans contains 15 grams of fiber. We are so fiber deficient in this country. If we're sodium proficient, proficient, we're, we're fiber deficient. We need at least 25, more like 50 grams of fiber per day for all kinds of fantastic benefits. One cup of cooked pinto beans has 15 grams of fiber. It also has 15 grams of protein. Ask me where I grip my protein. 
right here in this can of pinto beans and in my burritos. All kinds of other fantastic health benefits. Ooh, la, la, look at that, isn't that fancy? Now here comes the big unveil of the one I put in the oven earlier. I put this on the sprouted, oh, 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 mamma mia. I wish you could smell this. This is beautiful. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to get really fancy on you here. Now is when I like to put my salsa on. You could put your salsa in the burrito. This is some green tomatillo salsa. I guess tomatillos are always green, but that's what that is. I like Oh, let's not do that yet. I like to always put some fresh green stuff on whatever it is that I'm eating. I've got some cilantro, which goes really really well. And it uh, looks like I have a few sprouts. I'm putting sprouts on everything these days. And then I happened to make some vegan sour cream the other day for another little project. This is all optional. So the really cool thing about these burritos is you can do whatever you want. You can use whatever you want. You can get whatever you have out of your refrigerator and put it, roll it up in your burrito. Ha! Huh. And then I've got my nice little salad on the side. And then la piece de resistance a fresh squeeze of lime. Look at this. What do you think? It makes you want to roll your own, doesn't it? Let's let's dig in here, shall we? <coughs> ah, oh my goodness, beans, they are so good for your heart. And don't worry, they might make you toot a little bit, but the more you eat, actually, the less you toot because your digestive system gets used to it. Oh, okay. Let's oh, baby, let's check this out. I just want to show you. Ah, well, that's not going to work. These tortillas are definitely a little bit funky to work with. So that's your experiment. And because I don't want to make a fool of myself on Facebook Live, <laughs> you're just going to have to trust me that I eat this. Oh, can you see the seam? See how it is? And I'm going to eat this off camera. Thank you for joining me. Revenge with Lisa Live, where today we rolled our own. See you next time!